Morning all. All right, so we're going to do the, the preview and the news of the day thus far, including the fact that James Neal cleared waivers for the Oilers, so there were no takers of that contract, as one might have expected. Um, so starting at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, which is a little over two hours from now, the Pittsburgh Penguins, these guys here, will be playing at home against the Washington Capitals. The Penguins are 6-5-1. The Capitals are 6-3-3. Three, three. It'll be Vanacek against Jari. We'll see how it goes. I figure at Pittsburgh's at home, I'll take them, but eh, we'll see, right? Uh, very unpredictable league we have going right now. Uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, we have the Colorado Avalanche finally returning to the National Hockey League ice surface and, and getting to play a game 7-3-1, and, and they're against Vegas, who are 9-2-1. and one. So some good news here. It looks like most of the players who are out will be back, and we should have a Pretty full lineup for the Colorado Avalanche. And we have one game postponed from today, which is Philadelphia and the Rangers. And the Flyers are hoping to be able to practice tomorrow. That's the plan. Back on the ice tomorrow for practice. And then Thursday, they should be back in action and playing games. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully, we're done with the outbreaks. And we're likely not, but we'll see, right? Um we don't get the full 58 games oh well uh yesterday uh the vancouver owner francesco aquilini came out on twitter and gave a, a vocal support of jim benning and travis green and i understand that with other teams there's been instances where an owner might come out and give a, a vote of approval and then within days or weeks you might see something change i don't get the feeling that that's the case with aquilini I get the feeling that he's serious, that he has faith in Jim Benning and Travis Green. And if that's the case, then that means nothing's going to change in Vancouver before, I would say, the end of the regular season. After the regular season's done, do we see a change? Maybe. But, and, and if the team starts winning games here and there and making it close, and if they're playing well, I don't think anything gets changed either. Now... That can be a worst case scenario where a team misses the playoffs, but they play well enough that maybe they don't get a top draft pick. They play well enough to give you hope for the next season, and then they just stay in that mediocrity level for a while. Toronto Maple Leafs, before they finally committed to the rebuild where they got the Austin Matthews pick, and of course they picked up Murner and all that, uh, it, it that's, what, that's what they were doing. They were close and barely missing. Uh, Calgary as well. With Jerome McGinley for a while there, there were seasons where, well, they're close, so they keep everything basically the same, and so you end up spinning your wheels. That's why I've been hoping for Vancouver to have an absolute bottom-out season, because sometimes that's the only way things are going to change. It's not that I'm cheering against the team, as much as I'm saying, look, if things need to change, the only way it's going to change is if things are, are bad and stay there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if the team did somehow turn it around and make the playoffs, that'd be an amazing run worthy of a Hollywood movie. I don't really see it happening, though, because I think Toronto and Montreal probably uh, far enough ahead that I can't see the Canucks catching them. And you've got Winnipeg, Edmonton, and Calgary would be the other ones. I mean, Calgary, they might be able to catch. Sure, if Calgary bottoms out, fine. But then you'd have to have either Edmonton or Winnipeg kind of do the same. All right. Uh, waiver wire this morning is interesting. Paul Byron, I, I would honestly, and I, I know I know the price tag and I know the amount of teams that are in cap trouble. I, I kind of would be a little bit surprised if Paul Byron clears waivers. Now, I know he's not scoring, but Paul Byron defensively is a good forward. And so I'm, I'm wondering if somebody might pick him up for that side of the game. And I'm thinking about maybe one of the American teams might pick him up. I don't think he'd go anywhere else in Canada. But uh, I I would be kind of surprised if all 30 teams take a pass on Paul Byron. I, I would honestly be surprised by that. Alex Galchenyuk has been placed on waivers by the Carolina Hurricanes, which means he's not heading into the United States. This is in case he's grabbed on waivers by a Canadian team, then he doesn't have to go through the 14-day quarantine again. As soon as he crosses the border and comes back, he'd have to go through the 14-day quarantine again. So he'll sit in Canada for 24 hours, and then if he clears, he'll go down, and then Carolina has the option to send him to the American League or put him on the taxi squad. I'm guessing he ends up on the taxi squad. Par Lindholm is on waivers for Boston. 
Again, serviceable fourth line player. Uh, it doesn't provide any scoring though. And, and so while I, I like his effort on most nights um, for Boston, there's been better options. So he ends up on the waiver wire. Wouldn't be entirely surprised if he gets picked up either because there are teams that could use some forward depth. Gabriel Carlson on waivers for Columbus should probably clear. And for Detroit, Dan DeKaiser. With the emergence of Christian Juice as being a guy that they 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 like and he's playing, uh, it makes DeKaiser kind of uh, expendable. So DeKaiser goes on waivers. I don't think anybody takes that contract. And we'll see if any of these guys get picked up. I think of the five, the most likely to me is, is Paul Byron. But we'll see. Uh, I wanted to throw this on the board. The KHL playoffs start in 16 days. So, uh, the reason that's that's interesting is because there are certain players in the KHL who may come over and end up playing in the NHL before the NHL season is over. As soon as their KHL season's done, they finish out a contract, they can then sign the National Hockey League. We'll see if that happens. And of course, again, coming back to this team here, that would mean Pud Colson might be able to join the Canucks before the season's done, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know at this point. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, KHL playoffs start in 16 days, which means they're playing really important games right now. And uh, I've just been covering the National Hockey League because there's a lot of National Hockey League to cover. Um, speaking of National Hockey League to cover, Coach Ralph Kruger is at practice today for the Buffalo Sabres. So him being at practice with the Sabres is great news. This would mean he's clear. And, you know, we can all kind of breathe a sigh of relief that he's beat it and he's back at uh, the, the practice for the Buffalo Sabres. As, again, this coming week we should have all 31 teams back playing again and hopefully this is all in the rearview mirror. Right? Right. All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.